Hey guys, Matt Paulson here. Today I want to record a quick video about using Facebook to promote your small business without being annoying. Um, if you are starting a business, one of the hardest aspects is finding new customers or uh, finding your early customers. Uh, when you're just getting started, you don't know what works for advertising, you're not 100% sure who your ideal customers are, and your product might not be fully baked yet. Um, you just know that for your business to succeed, somebody has to buy your stuff. Um, so one of the you know early uh, marketing things that a lot of people think of is Facebook. You don't have a lot of money, so it's you know posting on Facebook is free, uh, so that's where you go. Um, in this video, I'm going to focus exclusively on uh, kind of the more organic side of Facebook. I won't be covering Facebook ads in this video. Uh, we can talk about that another time. Um, but I'm going to talk about posting on pages and groups and your profile and other people's groups and how to do that well with it without being annoying. So the kind of default steps that people take to promote their business on Facebook is one, you make a Facebook page, you upload your logo, you type in your description, you start posting, and then you invite all of your friends to like your page. Um, that's totally fine. Go ahead and do that. Uh, some people will like your page, some people won't. Um, but you're probably going to find that Facebook doesn't give a lot of coverage to pages, so you're not going to get a lot of business results from your Facebook page and posting on it because Facebook never shows the post from your page. Uh, to the people that like it because they want you to pay to reach those people. At the same time, uh, you'll probably post on your own profile, which is also fine because it's yours and you can post whatever you want in your profile. Um, and all of your friends are already connected with you to your personal profile, uh, so you'll post there as well. Nothing wrong with that. Just don't overdo it because it can get annoying if you only post about your business every day and don't post about anything else. Um, you can take it to the next level and there are some right ways to do this and some wrong ways to do this. Um, you know, you can definitely go too far in terms of being annoying or overstepping your bounds or um, really asking in a way that you haven't earned permission to ask yet. Um, what, I, what I've seen a lot, unfortunately, is that people will join a bunch of different Facebook groups and start posting about their business without actually participating in that community. Uh, honestly, it's, it's kind of like walking into a crowded room at somebody else's event handing out a bunch of flyers without contributing, participating, or really being involved with the event in any way. You're really there just to promote your stuff and then you leave. Um, and if your social media strategy is entirely what can I get out of somebody else's community for myself without actually contributing, you know, you're not gonna, it's not going to work. Uh, we had this issue on the Entrepreneurs of Sioux Falls Facebook group uh, pretty recently. There's a new business owner, startup founder person uh, that kept promoting uh, their uh, promoting their, uh, it was a mobile app, they kept promoting their mobile app um, over and over and over again. Um, they do it like two times a week. Uh, first few times I just deleted the post and said, hey, don't do that. Kept doing it, so I, I had to block the guy, unfortunately. Um, but now I see he's doing this in, in all these other groups, and inevitably that's probably not going to be an effective strategy because, I mean, it's, it's annoyance marketing. You're not providing value, you're just, you know, dropping your ads and say, hey, buy my stuff. And you know nobody really likes that. Uh, I, I think that's ultimately a self-defeating strategy. Um, I, I think the other wrong way to promote your business on Facebook is to just start messaging people and asking them to buy your product. Um, I, I think the multi-level marketing organizations tell people to do this because you see a lot of screenshots online of people that are selling. Uh, you know, you know. I, I honestly couldn't even tell you uh, whether it's essential oils or candles or I don't even know what the MLM. Uh, communities are, are, are pushing these days, but you see a lot of, uh, of uh, screenshots of, of SMS and Facebook messages uh, of people that are just messaging you know you people to buy stuff, and that typically doesn't end very well. Um, you know, Facebook message, you know, SMS and Facebook Messenger are, are really kind of tools for people to talk with their friends and have social conversations. So if somebody is getting a message from you and expecting a friendly social message. Uh, and, and then turns out the only reason why you're messaging them is because you want them to buy something. Uh, typically, people aren't going to respond super well. Um, if you want to set up a sales meeting with somebody, you probably don't do it on Facebook Messenger. You're probably just going to annoy the person that you're trying to sell to. Um, you know, use a method of business communication. So do it on LinkedIn. Um, you know, I, I get business asks or requests on LinkedIn, and it doesn't bother me at all because it's a business social network. Use email. People do business over email totally fine. 
or give them a good old fashioned phone call during during work week. Now, nothing wrong with that either. Um, well, well, what gets people into trouble is trying to leverage that social relationship or the expectation of a social conversation and, and use that to turn that into an ask for your business. Um, usually that's not going to end super well. Uh, don't do that. Um, really the best way you know, to take your Facebook uh, marketing to the next level is just to have lots of conversations with people and help lots of people with the uh, types uh, of thing that you do. Um, so if somebody posts um, about something related to your industry or your business, have a conversation with them. That doesn't mean you try to sell to them right away. It means you help them and you give them information and you encourage them. Um, you do this over and over and over again and eventually you will have a reputation or a brand um, around the topic that you're helping people with. Uh, this is what made Gary Vaynerchuk so famous. Uh, he was the guy that did Wine Library TV and now he has this hundred million dollar a year social media consulting agency business that I'm not I'm totally sure about it but it's a massive business. Um, and the way that he built uh, a, a reputation or a brand as an internet business guru or kind of a social media magnet is that he just had tens of thousands of one-on-one -on -one conversations with people on social media. So for years, um, he responded to every tweet, every direct message, every Facebook message. Anytime you tried to reach him, he personally would get back to you. It took you know it's a massive amount of hours for him to do this, but eventually you know he became that social media sensation, and everyone in the business community knew who he was because so many people had a personal interaction with him. And he was just so unique in that way that you know everybody knows who Gary Vaynerchuk is now, at least in the, the small business entrepreneurship community they do. Um, so I think we could learn something from that. Um, you know, if you want to build a brand for yourself, if you want to promote your business, have lots of conversations that help other people. Um, you know, you're not you, you can't ha go into a conversation thinking, you know, my ultimate goal is just to get this person to be my customer. Really, because people will see right through that. Um, ultimately, your goal has to be how can I help this person who has, has a question or is bringing up this discussion topic. Um, that's the heart and the mentality that you need to go into it with. Um, and ultimately, by doing that, people will see you as the expert in whatever. And then when they need you, they'll come find you. Um, I think one of the best ways to have conversations uh, with people um, and grow your business on Facebook is to create a community. Um, that you are the curator of you know, on Facebook. So I do this with the Entrepreneurs of Sioux Falls Facebook group. Um, and we have about 5,700 local entrepreneurs that chat about business and marketing and entrepreneurship and um, everything related to that on Facebook on a daily basis. Um, so I created that community a couple years ago. Um, I haven't asked a whole lot of the people in that group. Um, but when I do have something to promote, uh, whether I'm organizing an entrepreneurship event or there's a special one wearing cups I want people to come to, or there's like even a paid event at Zeal that I want to promote. Um, you know, I never get any pushback for it. And the reason for that is, is that I provide people so much value through that group, and I've helped so many people through that group. You know, people just don't mind that I periodically, I periodically ask them to do something. Um, you know, if you, if you help people over and over and over and over and over enough, you know, eventually, you know, you've created so much social equity. That when you ask them for a purchase, or they want you want them to buy something, uh, or you want them to sign up for your service, you know they might just say yes because um, you've given them so much value, and they want to find a way to pay you back. Um, you know, as long as you, um, I, I, I really do think about anybody can do this, as long as you have a business that targets consumers, you can make your own online community on Facebook in a group that kind of caters to your potential customers. Um, so if you're a clothing boutique, you can have a community that for women to discuss fashion. Um, if you run the local bike store, you can, um, uh, if you run the local bike store, you can have a group uh, where bikers get together um, and ride the trails on Saturday mornings on specific days. Um, you know, easy, easy thing to do. Uh, you know, maybe you have, maybe you're Mitch Jackson and you run the local coffee shop. Um, you can have a Facebook group just for people that are, are regulars of your, of your, of your coffee shop. And that way people that, uh, would normally have conversations at your coffee shop or run into each other, could have some of those conversations online when they're not at your coffee shop. So there's plenty of ways to do this. Um, you really just need to create um, a Facebook group that facilitates 
um, you know, kind of a conversation around the interest that surrounds your business. Um, and you don't necessarily even have to um, create the group yourself. If there is an existing group, um, you can just join that group and provide people value in that group without being the uh, curator of that community. Um, really, the key is just to do fit, to do promote your business well on Facebook. Um, have lots of conversations with people and conversations that help them help them first and promote your business second. If you do that with consistency over time and you, you put the time and energy in it that it takes to do it, um, you know, you'll build that personal brand for yourself and, um, you know, you'll see customers come from that. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful. Um, hopefully we won't see too many more people uh, that are just going group to group to group and promoting their, their stuff without, you know, contributing in any way or, um, you know, the dreaded Facebook message from the, your friend in middle school that you haven't seen in 20 years that wants to sell you their essential oils. Um, but, but really provide people value. And that's probably the best way to, um, you know, promote your business on Facebook. Provide that value, create a community, curate conversation, create conversation, help people. Um, by doing those things, you know, you'll develop a brand and people will buy from you. I'll see you in the next video.